so welcome back guys in this uh, third episode of this tutorial series in the last video we had done this recoil animation and this reload animation gun was able to reload and some recoil and all the gun was almost 40 percent of gun was set and up uh, so um, now in this video as you can see when we start to run uh, there is no running animation going on or any uh, any there is no animation at all so uh, inside the fps camp uh, let's create new cre uh, empty game object and rename it as a uh, weapon manager uh, now place the m4 recoil uh, inside the weapon manager and uh, in the weapon manager uh, inside the animation create new animation and uh, name it something uh, something whatever you want uh, i want to save that animation inside Oh fuck! Now uh, save the animation inside guns animation, and now uh, name the animation as walk or idle. Anything you want. I want. I will create some idle animation, which is uh, some kind of breathing animation. So first, uh, add, prop, add the properties to be transform dot position. Now uh, take the cursor to forward and. Uh, drag the gun down a little bit something around now this is too down uh, now drag the pestles over here and now i guess this is good but this is too too fast now um, for doing it slow uh, just zoom out the uh, all the animation window by uh, sliding the uh, mouse wheel now the animation looks good uh, I guess this is pretty good for uh, a breathing animation. Uh, now it's time to create the new animation, uh, which is new animation, which is walk, uh, some walking animation. Uh, so uh, now create um, up out to creating the animation. Uh, this is also the simple animation. Create the transform position and uh, add. Uh, just drag the down and drag it on the left side then uh, further uh, something around here drag the gun in the left side and then at the uh, in the top something around here now again here uh, copy the um, copy this one and paste it inside this and this is the same one now when we hit play, uh, this animation is going on. Uh, I guess this is a pretty good animation for a walk animation. Uh, okay, and this looks pretty good uh, for our character speed or movement or anything else. So we have to set up our animator. So here it is a uh, walking and idle animation. Mm, for this uh, make the transition from idle to walk and another transition from uh, walk to idle now create a new okay no floor new inside the parameter create new bool and name it something like uh, walking or idle anything i'll rename uh, name it idle uh, walking and new bool uh, which is is idle I hit enter now from walking to idle the condition is walking uh, is equal to false or uh, idle is equal to true and uh, from idle to walk uh, from idle to walk the condition is walking is sorry mm, the condition is walking is equal to true so this should not has any exit time no face duration no transition duration because we want to play the animation right after uh, the first one so and just uh, reduce them inside the uh, inspector now mm, we have to create the script for script which controls this animations uh, in, in the very good way uh, for this we will now create new c sharp script and uh, name it weapon manager animation script script or anything uh, weapon manager anything now double click to open it's inside the visual studio or whatever uh, coding software you use now create new public 
sorry create new public animator and call it uh, anim now uh, create new public void which is uh, void update uh, now inside the void update if we input uh, w um, input dot get button sorry not get button it should be get key um, and the key code is w um, okay my pc just lagged at this point uh, key code is w uh, and the um, the anim should be plays walking so anim dot set bool in bracket walking is true mm, the walking should be inside the double inverted comma uh, so mm, we have uh, capital w and walking capital w and walking comma uh, is true mm, so complete the statement and uh, if we uh, else if we place just else and anim dot set bool uh, walking is true uh, this will really not work as good uh, as you can see uh, if we do this and complete the sentence or complete the statement uh, and head back to unity when we hit play and add the uh, animation uh, add the weapon animation control script inside this and add the animator inside the uh, inspector and hit play then uh, the unity will literally uh, confused to what to do uh, play idle animation or walking animation whatever uh, it will just confuse because uh, we haven't specified what to do inside the uh, script which is uh, we just placed else which is not uh, such a good condition so um, we just have to do uh, uh, create new if statement which is input dot get key up and the key uh, this should be get key down and the input dot get key up um, sorry um, get key up and the key code is again w uh, which is um, this is a pretty good, uh, which is pretty common keyboard. Now, uh, and in dot set bool, which is uh, is idle, should be true. Uh, sorry, is idle, is true. Now, when we hit save and head back to the Unity um, and hit play. You can see uh, we can walk animation and then idle animation. Then again, we have uh, something bug going on. I don't know why it is happening. I will just uh, set it to be play animation, which is walk. Uh, uh, something boolean is not working in this case uh, it could work uh, if we correct the script which will I will correct in the next series which is not important for now uh, it is important in the next one uh, so it is idle so it's uh, when head back to unity now when we uh, hit play and when we hit w okay, no animation is playing because we have this transition already going on uh, okay just save this mm, this is capital now mm, when we this is uh, the walking animation and when we stop moving this is the idle animation this is walking and this is idle uh, I guess this is looking pretty good which is we are walking shooting here and they are I guess this is look pretty good for our kind. Uh, so now, if we can see, there is no way. Uh, we have the pretty looking scope around here, which is, uh, but there is no way we can uh, scope inside. Uh, scope in inside the uh, scope in. What you can say, scope inside the scope. So um, we will create inside the. Reka should input dot get key down key code dot uh, is hard. Uh, this is I am just doing this because we want to uh, reload our gun when we uh, press the R. Now um, when we press key 
R we should have current ammo less than max uh, uh, max capacity because the current ammo if the current ammo is uh, equal to maximum ammo then there is no point of reloading the gun. Uh, inside this uh, statement we just have to start the carotene which is reload now uh, whenever uh, we fire the gun and whenever uh, we play, uh, hit R uh, the gun is reloading at pretty much good uh, the animation is uh, again I can see the animation is playing uh, twice uh, because only uh, there is animation is little smaller than the uh, reload time uh, so we will now uh, create new empty state uh, which is named as uh, m4 aim assist uh, now we will uh, make this to uh, aim inside the scope which is uh, which our gun have this little scope and i guess this is not transparent currently because i haven't added texture for this uh, just add an animator for this aim assist and uh, uh, let's head into uh, create head inside the animation window and create new animation called as aim now uh, for the aiming just uh, hit the record button and place it something around uh, then something around here uh, which i guess looks pretty good for now this is mm, you can take your time to fix the uh, perfect position for your scope inside uh, whatever time you can take now create new uh, material and and name it red dot and now add the red dot material inside the addable i have linked up this gun inside the description of this video and uh, uh, render mode uh, change it to the uh, mm, cutout uh, now uh, add the red dot to the something around here and i guess this looks uh, this doesn't look pretty good because the red dot should be at the center of the gun which is something around here uh, I guess now this looks pretty good for uh, this gun uh, and there is there should be no something around this we have uh, hit the record button uh, start so it just add an animation for this okay there is material mess going on with us okay sorry guys um, add this material something around here now uh, we have this animation which is uh, aim animation and we will simply create new script for this aim animation uh, so inside the script folder create new c -sharp script which is uh, uh, gun aim assist or gun gun aim uh, now double click to open it inside the visual studio get rid of this both uh, um, uh, starter content and now uh, we will create uh, our animator uh, inside the animator create new empty state which is uh, empty and uh, name it to be the empty and uh, now set it as a default layer then make transition to the aim and make transition again aim to uh, the empty now inside the parameter create new bool uh, which is uh, known as aim and now from the uh, empty to aim uh, aim should be true and from aim to empty the aim should be false uh, so mm, the both should not have any kind of exit time uh, because it uh, it will just uh, give the weird effect I, I will show you after the script is completed uh, then inside our script uh, uh, create a new public com uh, component which is animator and name it anim and create new uh, private void update and uh, inside the update create new statement which is input dot get key down and the get key is mouse one button um, get key is uh, mouse button and key code is mouse one mouse one which is right click of the mouse uh, now uh, on this we have to set bool which is uh, uh, aim is uh, true sorry uh, and is true and um, if uh, we uh, else or uh, else an aim dot set bool in bracket name uh, aim is false now when we complete the statement and uh, we have uh, we will have the reference for the recast shoot uh, script inside this and then again create new uh, public game object which is a reference for our uh, gun inside the same assist public game object which is gun and now 
will have the gun dot uh, get component in bracket uh, uh, rica rica shoot okay now complete the statement by double bracket and uh, epsilon uh, and we have to uh, reload uh, sorry uh, shoot dot is reloading should be false okay sorry is reloading should be false uh, we don't have to aim when the gun is reloading or anything else is going on uh, now when we uh, hit in the NMP, it will take some time for loading the script. Uh, inside the M4 MSS, we will add the gun name script and add the animator. Uh, add the okay, sorry, add the animator inside the anim and uh, M4 inside the gun. Now, when we hit play and uh, hit right click, actually, the script is not working. Or the script is working just it's not working i don't know why uh, what is wrong with the script i don't know that's true okay i just have uh, said this uh, anime now when we hit play uh, as you can see um, when we hit right click it's actually aiming but it's uh, taking some time to aim when we click the right button because we have the exit time for uh, and the transition duration for uh, all this stuff so it should not have any kind of exit time and no transition duration at all uh, so just create, uh, uncheck the uh, has exit time and transition duration and now when we hit uh, play when we right click it will just aim and uh, we can shoot we can reload our gun and now our gun is able to shoot and all uh, so i guess this is pretty much go good for this video we will meet in the another one uh, where we are the running animation and the fix all the errors and anything going on in this video so for now bye bye